Hi, my name is Shungda. In this video, I'm going to talk about the METS Mecha Blitz 36 AF. This one is built for Canon, but you also have ones for Nikon and maybe even other brands. Uh, but this one I have is for Canon and it has the 4C, but you have like also different kind of model numbers of this one after the 36 AF. There's, I think, also. Uh, yeah, one, two, four. I think right now they are at five, but uh, they are more or less uh, a bit the same. They all uh, don't have a lock, so it just have a click step to change. So you don't have to press the sides to uh, unlock it to change the angle. Uh, the flash itself is very, very, very affordable. Uh, you can buy this for around 50 bucks and this is probably the most affordable flash you can buy with a built-in uh, infrared assist so the infrared focus assist is a very very important feature to have on a external flash that you are going to use on your camera because this will increase or make the focus better especially at night when you don't have a lot of light and especially if you are uh, taking photos inside a club or a dark lounge where you don't have enough uh, ambient light to actually get proper focus this infrared will basically shoot a beam of light and help you with the focus and the beam of light won't be caught on the photo and uh, something you really need to buy for this is the Omni Bounce. You don't have to buy the really expensive one, uh, you can just buy a really really cheap one from eBay and uh, this is one from eBay and it works very very great. You don't have to buy the expensive brand which costs equal amount of uh, or costs the same as the flash itself, you just have can buy a very cheap one. And uh, yeah, it doesn't have anything special on top of here, so you don't have like the uh, extra, yeah, uh, diffuser on top of here or also the bounce card. So those things aren't really needed if you are, um, yeah, into photography. I recommend just buying this Omni Bounce, be enough for uh, all the purposes. So it does have the tilt, but it doesn't have the pen rotation. But sometimes you really just yeah feel like it's really missing that feature, but uh, it's not a feature that everybody needs. So if you're a beginning photographer, I have to say it's, yeah, it's a function that probably you will feel you will run across, but uh, for the startup, this be really enough. And also it has like a zoom function to set to which function or which distance your subject is and then put the zoom uh, distance. And overall on the back there isn't much going on. There's like only one on and off switch and then uh, there's a test button. So there's no manual controls, no uh, special things going on. So it's a very minimalistic design. So, but uh, the controls are mainly inside your camera because it has TTL or for Canon eTTL. And it just will connect to your camera and inside your camera you can change the, uh, yeah, being the shutter curtain or uh, also the strength of the flash but there isn't really that extreme much uh, you can set inside the camera itself so there's no special uh, shutter speed uh, special stuff it's also not really a high uh, speed flash so at um, red carpet events with tons of photographers it's not going to be really that useful but overall, at normal events, uh, normal venues or uh, parties, this will be a okay flash to get like uh, group pictures or uh, any simple stuff where you don't need to have like uh, burst shots. 
mainly just getting the shot that you need. This will be a flash that is really useful. The recycle time isn't really that high also, so you do need to, if you want to have a little bit faster recycle time, you do need to amp up the ISO so it doesn't have to shoot off uh, really strong beams every time and just uh, have a slightly faster recycle time. But if you're shooting, uh, letting it shoot at full flash, it will take up to like three seconds for it to actually be fully recycled and to able to get another shot. And yeah, overall, I'm very pleased with it. Uh, it hasn't broken down on me. And yeah, it really just is a very simple flash that you can use at uh, clubbing events or just uh, yeah any party venues to get uh, the shots you want and um, yeah that was mainly it and yeah this right now is very very affordable if you're a startup photographer I really recommend this model if you do have a little bit more I would recommend the Yongyo uh, 565 uh, that one is has more functions is basically a replica of the 580EX from Canon itself because that one you do have all the functions and all the things you need to do a very professional shoot and also able to rotate but if you already don't have the startup budget of uh, above 100 uh, US dollars to buy a flash and just only have like 50 bucks this one I can recommend it it's better than uh, most other ones around the same price range because most of the other ones is missing this infrared focus assist which is really really useful at uh, nighttime situations and also able to get uh, accurate focus so yeah hopefully you guys like this video and please subscribe and if you have any questions please comment below and i hope to see you next time bye bye